Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so I'm pretty sure you guys have been waiting for this just about as much as I have. And I have been having a lot of problems with it. And I've had to land it many, many, many times now to figure out what the problems are with this thing. Just like my Ike base uh, landing, this one is also having a few problems that I guess I must have overlooked or just something. But basically, I don't feel like I put enough parachutes on this and uh, I have to substitute the fact that I don't have enough parachutes with a big engine. So we will be landing with this almost basically all the way to the ground. And uh, I, I plan on decoupling it once we get fairly close. I can't tell you how close, but I'm going to basically judge it off the shadow. And, uh, you know, we'll figure it out once we get, uh, you know, further down. So the one thing I have to say is it definitely, this thing is not the best design. And I feel like I, I wish I could go back to the VAB before I launched it just to fix all the stuff that's wrong with it. Now, one of the things I'm going to mention, and this was kind of brought up, a few episodes back with the Ike base, I don't think I even mentioned it in my last episode with the Duna uh, Fuel Depot, which has gotten a lot of work. And the only thing I got to show you guys as well is I did clean up a lot of stuff. I really moved things around and uh, really just kind of cleaned up the orbits on everything. Uh, this is not going to be another land base or anything like that. I don't want anyone to think that. That's This is just spare parts in case if I need it and uh, you know the rest of the stuff we the fuel depot now has seven tanks on it compared to the last episode which we only had uh, four on it when I finished so it's looking pretty freaking awesome now and uh, you know all we need is just one more tank all that stuff is in orbit it's in a very low orbit Somewhere around here, I, I don't know, but basically the other thing I got to show you as well is our, from our my 200th episode where we had all the stuff in orbit on its way. It's all at Duna now. Everything is here, so everything made it safely. There are, have been no problems. So one thing I'm going to address is the landing stage. I do know that the amount of Newtons that the landing stage for the Ike base... I do know that the amount of Newtons that that landing stage had was roughly the same amount as the deorbiting stage, if you want to call it that. It just wasn't working. There was nothing I could do. Um, I feel like the parts, I think this is the bug, and I don't know if this is a bug or something, but I think the engines were just too close to the other parts of the ship that... Uh, the forces produced by the engines were basically just, just like it just wouldn't do anything. It, it was it was running the 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 stage itself had fuel. It had everything that it needed. It just and it, the engines were running. It just wouldn't produce any forces, and I think that had to do with the fact that the exhaust was so close to other parts of the ship. So. I think on my next design, I will be putting the engines a lot higher and seeing if that kind of solves the problem with it. I am going to be testing some of it out to see if maybe there are other things. I mean, I did test a lot of the stuff on Kerbin, so, but Kerbin testing stuff isn't really the best thing when it comes to Duna, at least. It doesn't work as well, so... That's all I can say about that. I tried my best, and that was what I had to settle with as far as the landing. It wasn't the best landing, and it wasn't what I intended, but it worked, and we have a base on Ike. So that was kind of the main point of the mission, and the mission was successful, even though it wasn't the best landing. So with this one, I can also say the same thing as well. I feel I did not put enough parachutes, and I think that is going to have some effect on it. And it is a little bit of a different design than my original uh, Duna base. My original Duna base was 
when I like to say I wasn't as good as building bases, but um, I feel like now that that base kind of is the better one in certain aspects where I've kind of skewed certain things where I thought that it would work a little bit better and it doesn't work as good, but it does in certain aspects. It, it's a really mixed thing and I would really have to explain everything. It's a really mixed bag and it's really a hard thing to build these bases and have them work perfectly. And it just surprises me that I built one so long ago and it worked perfectly right off the just worked perfectly without any real solid testing of anything even though I did test on that one as well just as extensively as I did on this one so I had no worries and now that when you get here I'm like oh god I don't even know if this is gonna work but it at the same time I mean we can both stay hopeful and keep our fingers crossed so I'm going to throttle back a little bit because we really don't need to be using this much fuel and we're moving like unbelievably slow. So it's... There we go. Let's get this on uh, surface as well. I, I really don't know what I'm doing here. Um, there we go. Let's kind of center this up a little bit because it's basically... We're on like a free fall right now. This is almost going to be like a moon landing as well. I should mention that too. It's basically going to be almost kind of the same thing, you know, with, but with an atmosphere. So I, I basically got to keep these engines firing the entire time. And that is kind of the sucky part about this landing, which I kind of expected to just come in really... I tried multiple techniques for landing. Uh, you know, I read on the forums a little bit on Kerbal Space Program forums, which if you guys aren't a part of the forums I don't know what's wrong with you um, th there's a few different techniques you can kinda take towards landing and certain ones work with certain things and certain ones work with other things but I really tried and uh, you know this, this is kind of the best it's going to get at least I think so so anyways guys um, I'm probably gonna speed up most of this until we get fairly close to the ground so I think the shoots are gonna deploy somewhere around 12 or 10 or something like that and we'll call it 12 maybe 10 maybe 11 we'll call it 11 but I think it's gonna be 10 so I don't know so I'll see you once we once the shoots deploy And this landing is looking pretty amazing. That's all I can say. Uh, I'm pretty happy about this. I'm just hoping that uh, we don't run out of fuel, because that won't be a good thing. So, let's see. The dread shoots have opened. I'm going to throttle back a little bit more. And uh, hopefully we don't lose anything on the descent here. I'm re I don't think we're going fast enough for where the G-forces could destroy anything. So, I think we're going to be alright. I think we're fairly close to the ground I just don't know exactly how close and I'm a little concerned but I know that the landing itself um, won't destroy the ship but I do know that it goes fast enough to where certain pieces will fall off the ship because of the fact that uh, just the g-forces alone from hitting the ground will just break it so that that's basically all I can say about that there we go this is looking pretty good I this has got to be the best landing I've had in a while so 
let's see. I'm going to try to push this thing to where we're going off to the right or off to the left or whatever direction you want to call that to where we're just kind of, oh my god, we're kind of just coasting around. All right, wow. Oh, we're taking off now, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Just throttle that up there. There we go. Now we're falling back down. Oh my god, we're just going to start rocking back and forth now, aren't we? Engage these engines. Decouple that big thing. I think we're going to hit the ground a little hard. I don't know. I feel like this is not going to be the best landing. Yeah. Well, the only thing I'm going to say is I think I'm going to stick with this. This has got to be my best landing so far. There, One of the major things was is preparation. You can see that my landing speed was 14 meters a second. Not good in any kind of way. But I'm going to stick with it. I will stick with it. It, it was a successful failure. So... Um, most of this base itself is intact. The only thing we really lost, and if you want to even call that a loss, is docking ports. So, these docking ports were basically meant for travel uh, to the planet. So, once we're on the planet, they're really kind of worthless in the first place. So, anyways guys, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't checked out the featured person of the week, it is... Werner Von Kerman and he does a lot of tutorials and stuff so go and check all that stuff out our next episode we'll be definitely putting this thing together and uh, yeah I will see you next time